Who doesn't love a little Monday evening Android customization? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how to customize the soft navigation buttons on your Android device. Customization is one of Android's strongest suits. It's the only platform that truly puts the power in the hands of its users and allows them to create a truly customized and personalized experience. There is literally no end to the number of changes you can make to your device's UI. You can change the launcher, the keyboard, the theme of the keyboard, the ROM, recovery, and practically every pixel of the device's interface. Until recently, however, there's been one part of the Android UI that's not quite as easy to change, the soft navigation buttons. Sure, there have been customized navigation buttons in various ROMs since CyanogenMod 9, most notably Paranoid Android with integrated Pi controls. If you want a truly custom experience, Paranoid Android is definitely worth checking out. But if you want something that's much more plug and play, the easiest way to customize your navigation buttons is with Solved Key Z. It's an application that can be downloaded from Google Play in a matter of seconds, though there are some caveats. The application itself is $1.99, it requires root, and it requires BusyBox to be installed. If none of that turns you away, Soft Key Z is certainly worth checking out. Simply download the application and open it. When the super user prompt appears, grant the application permission and read through the tutorial if that's your sort of thing. Before you do anything else, you may want to consider hitting the backup button at the top of the app, which will back up your stock button configuration. To go one step further, as it should be second nature to anyone who mods regularly, it's a smart idea to also perform a Nandroid backup before beginning, as this will alter some framework files. If you somehow lose your original backup, you can simply restore the Nandroid backup and start over. Once you've taken care of all the precautionary steps, you're ready to start customizing your navigation buttons. Simply open the application, hit the Skip Start Soft Key Z button, press Continue, and begin selecting the style of navigation buttons you want. You can choose an entire set, mix and match, or you can even import your own. Again, now is a great time to hit the backup button before you get started just so you can get back to the original configuration. Once you have selected the soft buttons you want, simply press the checkbox. Your phone will perform a quick soft boot, and once the boot finishes and you slide past the lock screen, you will see the brand new navigation buttons you picked out. Neat and simple. To revert to the stock button configuration, open the application again, press the backup button at the top, and simply select apply backup. The phone will once again reboot, and when it does, the original soft buttons will be back in place. And if you want to test your skills, you can attempt to make your own buttons, like I have done here. I'm a huge fan of the Roboto typeface, so I created some minimal text buttons with the Roboto Lite font, and I also made some in red and all lowercase. That's going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one in the future. Follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I'll see you soon.